Hello Wastelanders, Wander here, welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. Bit out of my range. Now he's not. Got the damn thing. Okay, a little bit poisoned, but not... Not infected, that's good. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, we are just to the... I guess south and west a bit of Sanctuary. And I want to come over here and get an army helmet that's over here, as well as possibly some medical supplies. Are you okay, dog meat? You did kind of get beat up, didn't you? Are you good? Hey. I think he's okay. Would like you to go and get this army helmet for me over here. Grab that. If you would, please. Is he coming or is he bugged? What are you upset about? Hey. Head over there. There we go. It's been a bit weird there for a second. Okay, dog meat. Yes, I'd like you to go get the army helmet for me, please. Get, get army that. helmet. Thank you very kindly. Heads up. And then if you could also go and loot the grab anything useful first aid kit over there. A lot of rads over there, a lot of rad barrels over there. I don't really want to go there myself. Thank you so much. A splint. Okay, that's nice. Good for healing broken bones, I suppose. Okay, so we can maybe hop over this way and then cut across. As long as I don't get too close over here, we ought to be okay as far as rads go. don't want to take any more than we have to. We're already kind of high on rads. That will be a pain to get rid of. We really have to be careful about getting too much water exposure here. We're not like dog meat. We can't just run around in the water and have no issues. We will have problems if we get in the water. Too much radiation. So I thought with the remainder of what is left for the day, we'd go back through this kind of back area around Sanctuary a bit. Make sure we've gotten any pertinent loot out here that we can get. And then uh, we'll sleep for the night and then head into Concord and go and save the Minutemen and get that stuff all rolling. Hope that sounds good to you, because that's what we're doing. Should be a couple of sets of enemies back through here we can fight, get some pretty easy experience. Still on the 9 mil, which is fine. Might swap to the 10 mil once we... Uh, find the raider over here might be worth swapping a 10 mil for that all these mute fruit will come in handy later on yes I do see a group of uh, three bloat flies over there and we missed somehow with that Well, I guess we can... I guess that works. Not the best I've ever done, but didn't take too much damage. We did take some infection, though. That's the real problem, isn't it? The infection stuff. This is the last of our antibiotics, so... We're gonna really have some trouble if we get hit with one more thing it's you know and gonna infect us that's not gonna be good that is a problem pretty sure I can make more might have to invest into science or something similar pretty early on though to make some more of those not sure where the rest of them went and I don't really care too much not really a big deal okay here's the Raiders house and for this I do think I'm gonna swap over Use my weapon kit here and swap over to 10 mil instead. I could do 38 rounds in this as well, I guess. I didn't realize that. That's kind of nice to know. 
We will go with 10 mil for now. That way we'll do a good bit of damage. Hello there, friend. We're your scavenger. This thing is not, I don't know, it doesn't seem like the bullets are going exactly where I want them to. So I want to get a bit closer before I shoot here to make sure I actually can get the headshot off from sneak attack. I think we'll let him go back over to his uh, home here and then we'll take a nice shot at him from here. Yeah, just relax over there, buddy. Okay, let's get the baseball bat. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Took his damn arm off. That's what I call a successful takedown. Very good. He has some goodies up here. in the form of some noodle cups. Very good. Nothing there, unfortunately. All right, we did pretty good, though. Where'd the dog go? Here he is. Waste not, what not. Sorry, Mr. Dog, but your meat's as good as anybody else's, so. Well, not anybody, anything else's. We don't eat people. Yet. Probably never. Should be a group of dogs over here too we can take down. Oh yes, hello. Ooh. Took a bit of a hit there, but I think we're still okay. On the whole, I'd say we gave them worse than we got. Considering the state they're in, after all. Not sure where the third one went, though. Ah, well. Not that big of a deal. There'll be more things to harvest and such over here pretty soon. I hear somebody doing some target practice over here. Think we'll give them the same treatment. Old Betsy here, she's looking for some more blood. That's what I named the bat, is Betsy. So that's it. <laughs> that is it. That is indeed it. Thanks for the backpack and the pipe rifle. Sorry about that. But you got stuff and I need it. And you're not exactly nice. Scavengers, you know, they're, they're neutral until you get too close and they're not very nice. So I don't feel too bad about it. It's whatever. Let's get some armor down here as well if we can. Should be a couple pieces down here. And a fishing... dog meat. A fishing pole. Knocking my stuff away from me. Okay, so we got a couple of armor pieces here. We got leather, leather, raider, army helmet. Do a traveling leather coat. Should look cool. We have an upper slash lower 
crate backpack. I think the camping backpack probably looks better than the crate one. It probably looks pretty dumb. We don't look cool, that's for sure, but, you know, it's getting the job done. That's what that's what matters, you know? I think these are... I think this is a horizon texture. It's overriding the other textures I have for rocks. And I quite like this texture. It looks pretty good. I think Zod did a pretty good job on this. The one I had was the vivid texture, I think. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I thought the vivid texture... Oh god, you, you scared me, bird. You landing scared me. Hello. I can just talk to you. It's interesting. Synth crows spying on me from the Institute. Just like the uh, crows for Saruman in Lord of the Rings, right? Looks there's a thing in there, but there's not, I guess. Okay. Never mind. Got our frag grenades ready. We're going to toss one over here to take out some Mire Lurks because I do not want to fight them. That'd be a very bad time. Dog meat. Hey, move here. Did you get out of the way, buddy? We're tossing a grenade in to kill some Meyer Lurks. And they should be right about over there. Well, they're not quite dead, but they're quite well crippled. One down. Two down. Very nice. That one took a bit, but, uh, got some, well, some grisly meat. Nothing crazy, I guess, here. Mire lurks are no longer invisible. Thank goodness. I can harvest them, too. That's going to be great. We're going to get lots of hunting skill from these, I would assume. They don't want to run away on me first. Okay, not bad. Got some meat off of him. I can't really get to the other one. He's all the way out there. It's a real shame, but it is what it is. We'll survive without him. All right, and we're back at the... Robco area. Let me put on my two-hander. Let me bind this thing. I keep forgetting to bind it properly. Let's put this thing on. Let's grab our goodies over here. Flamer fuel. Got anything on you? Around you? No? There is a fusion core in here. And there might be a working fat man. Now it's ruined. Of course it is. Never lucky, guys. Never lucky. Ah, well. Heavy weapon parts are nice, I guess. And this thing is always bugged. Grab that. Have to walk over it before we can actually loot it. Door texture is bugged. That happens sometimes. Hey, there's a light bulb in here. I think... Did Zawano add this? He might have. Nice. We are full. All right. Time to do a send home with um, Wilson. Hey, Wilson. Take my junk, please. Got plenty of power still. That's good. And you can take that. You can take that and that. You can take uh, that too, I'd say. In fact, I'd say all of that stuff. You can probably take it back. 
All this stuff can go back. We'll process it all back at the base. Uh, the rest of the stuff doesn't weigh too much. It's all fine. Hey, okay. That works. Buddy. That works. Thank you, Wilson. You are the best. And now we will activate Mr. Robot here. Uh, let's see. Holotapes. Again, I apologize for the zoomed out nature of this thing. It will be better once we're in power armor, but that's going to be probably not to the end of the episode. Have to endure one more day of small Pip-Boy. I know you can zoom a little bit, but it doesn't help that much, and um, it's a pain to make it work. I'm not sure why it's such a pain, but it is. Like, I'm trying to do the thing, but it's not really working. Anyway. be a mole rat group popping up here pretty quick that we're going to take out. All citizens, please clear the area and find cover. There is a 95.23% chance of collateral damage. Nah, I want the experience from killing the mole rats, from hitting them. One time I was able to find some very, very tiny little mole rat feet sticking out of the ground where it's, they're supposed to pop up. And I was able to have this thing start early. Nope, oh, there's one. Nice job. Got him. Complete. Thank you very much for the assist, Mr. Combat Robot. If you wouldn't mind, I'm... There you go. Trying to get these mole rats there. Okay, let's go beat some rats to death now. Should be a good time, yeah. And some more mole rats, too. Power armor over here will definitely not be usable, unfortunately. Horizon does away with that. Maybe able to scrap it, though, for parts. Got him. Got all three of them. Look at me go. Let's loot this guy if we can. Where the hell would he go? I don't really want to get into combat with these guys. That's what my rad stag, man. I just don't know where he went. It's over here in the bushes somewhere. Stupid rad stag. Why'd you have to die over there? Couldn't you just find a better spot to die in? Making my life difficult, man. It's getting dark, too. At least we got him. That's good. Baseball bat's doing some pretty serious work, I gotta say. Gotta thank Ms. Ab Mrs. Abernathy for her excellent free weapon that she gave us. Somebody's going to town over there with a laser weapon, it sounds like. Okay, let's go back. Let's retrace our steps back from the vertebrate, the crashed vertebrate. Okay, we're way off, off track now. Whatever. We'll loot this too, I guess. Excuse you, dog meat. It was very rude. Guys are all dismembered and stuff. Looks like you had a bad time. Oh, come on. Really? Come on now. 
to novice lock. There we go. Sweet. Radar module. That's some nice high-grade tech we can scrap down for some good parts. This is the mole rat area. Yep. Damn it. Poisoned. Damn it, dog meat. Stop running away. Okay, we didn't get infected from that, which is very surprising, actually, but I'll take it, honestly. Once again, it's getting a bit dark, and I'll turn off the ENB. So, there's a boss chest here. Oh, I don't have any locksmith tools. That's really unfortunate. Locks really strong. Hmm. There's a rad stag we got. Right next to an ammo crate as well. Just some ammo parts there. Seal container here as well. There is some good stuff up here, some good loot here. I just need some locksmith tools to be able to get in here. Can I do detonative? I don't have explosive charges either, apparently. I must have dropped everything off. Didn't think about that. I'll have to come back up here later on. Requires salvaging of A to salvage this. Okay, so we gotta get some we gotta get some skills, some perk points and stuff. Yeah, I could get up to 40 right now if I wanted to, but I couldn't do 80. Not until level 5. Ah, well. Shucks, we'll have to come back up here sometime and get that stuff. I do hate leaving stuff behind because of lack of skills, though. And having to come back later really bugs me. This is the burn pile up here the raiders were using. And this looks like a synth, honestly. His leg looks weird, like it's not a real human. It's all white and such. Like, uh, synthetic flesh. This is nice. R55 9mm. Drifter outlook. Oh, if it looks kind of cool, I'll, I'll maybe use that. We'll see. And that might be all the important stuff here. Besides the three mole rats we found here. None of which are going to give me anything good. <coughs> the heck was that? Do I have a disease? Or am I just... I don't know what the heck that was. Doesn't say we have disease anywhere. Seems like we're okay. Didn't know that was strange. Okay, we did pretty good. Um, back this way, I should be able to find some right away too. If I can recall where it's at properly. Should be a basket back up through here. I don't know that I really want to take on USAF Olivia right at this moment. That might be a bit much. Is a scavenger over here, though, whom we could rob. I'll feel a tiny bit bad about it, but only a tiny bit, going to be entirely honest. Ah! 
only a tiny bit. Basic backpack. Not much else. You got goodies in here, though. Let's be real. Neat is on a mission to find his son, okay? He's gonna take out anyone and everything in his way to accomplish that goal. Right now, though, he has to just survive in this new world, which is the challenge in and of itself. Alright, back through here. Should be back behind the satellite station. Not here, that's a lot of rads. Gonna back away from that. Somewhere around here, though. I guess I can send the robot over here. It's just really tough to fight these guys at night, though. Ah, yes, over here. Here we go. This should be it. Yeah, I think we'll wait until morning to go over here. Not the next day, though. Maybe we'll wait until uh, we've done Conquered and stuff. Yeah, there's somewhere around here there's a basket that has some goodies in it. I just don't recall exactly where it is. I usually stumble upon it while I'm up here wandering around, though. There it is. I knew it was up here. Should have some Rataway and stuff in it? Yeah! That's going to get nerfed, guys. Bunch of Rataway units there for us. That will be nerfed, don't worry. Surprise, it survived that long. Static loot is something that Zawinul does not like to leave in the game. He likes you to... He likes it to be more um, random that you just stumble upon stuff, which I understand. That makes sense, actually. I, I would actually prefer that. The metagaming thing is... It is what it is, you know. Should be a raider up here with his dog as well we can take out. Then we'll be on our way back. Back to base to sleep for the night and then to go into Concord afterwards. But first, we shall do a bit of murder on a raider and his dog after we loot his stash up here. There's not much here, to be honest. Get him, dog meat. Come on, get him. Good job. Go get him. Too bad you brought a gun to a baseball bat fight, my friend. Hmm, army helmet, nice. Racer jacket. Some raider gear that's pretty bad. I think we'll just scrap all that. New armor is so interesting. I want to look at it all and see what how it looks and see if I want to maybe possibly use it. I guess I can go back this way. Go back through here and finish off looting some of this area. There is a raider camp over here. I'm not sure if I want to take it on just yet, though. Not at night, probably, actually. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll go. We'll just go back now. I think trying to take on those raiders right now would be unwise in my current state. The baseball bat is doing really good work, though. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll see if I can get into a non-deteriorated state, maybe make it a bit better. We have gotten some blacksmithing and metalworking magazines and such that should help out with that. Could be worth a look. Might be pretty easy to upgrade it, and then we have a good melee weapon to use. Honestly, it's been more effective than our our other weapons, our ranged weapons, just because the damage on it is so high. And because I'm just fond of big two-hand weapons, as is evident from my orc playthrough in Skyrim, if you haven't watched that. I do love me some big two-handed weapons to swing around and smack people with. That's like all I play in uh, MMOs, too, is like either tanks or big two-handed Idiots that like to swing big swords or big maces or whatever. 
I don't know why I just always been my thing. I just love how weapons and armor look. That's why it is. I love how cool armor looks. Thinking about how invincible you'd feel while wearing it, you know? Wearing full plate mail armor. Obviously, you wouldn't be invincible, but you look freaking cool. Well, yeah, there's this thing, too. We never actually went down this root cellar, did we? We're supposed to go here immediately in her eyes and loot it, but I kind of forgot, I suppose. Ah, well. There's a bunch of good random junk here. And some pretty good stuff here. A cargo bot, heavy weapon parts. Yeah, some good stuff here. Perhaps we can repair that fat man. A bunch of good stuff here. Nice resupply here of our stuff. I'm just going to be looting like crazy here for a second. Hoover it all up. All right. Three pins left. Let's not break one here, please. Very good. Got it. Another metallurgy. That's the third one. A blacksmithing guide. Nice. Okie dokie. Could sleep here for then if we wanted to. But now nah, we'll sleep in our new bed. We made it all nice and cozy in our new house. So we'll go and use it. Our street lamps are lighting up the place nicely. I'll heal up in the morning. I don't want to waste my medical supplies now. You heal more when you're well-rested and we're not well-rested. One thing I always hate is that you get tired immediately after getting out of the vault, which is really unfortunate. Because then you have, like, that debuff for the entire day, and really you should go and sleep, but then your sleep schedule's all messed up, and that's no fun, so... It's a pain, guys. It's a pain. SMG... We have a lot of 38 ammo, but... We could use that in this thing, too, if we wanted to. Might be even better doing it with that thing. This is a nice automatic, too. Okay, let's go through stuff here. We've got a black army helmet. This has the protective thing in it, though. Drifter outfit looks pretty cool. I might use that. Those are both upper backpacks. We won't use that, I suppose. More stuff to go into the compost bin. Sanitized water is good, too. We're going to need some stuff as well. We're going to need to eat some stuff in the near future here. Probably in the morning when we get up. Um, we can just get out the... Where's the potato... Or not the potatoes. The uh, noodle cups we had. Didn't I have some noodle cups? Beg your pardon. Did I not have some noodle cups? Did it not... Oh, did it go into our production storage? Might have gone to here. We should send the supply line here to Red Rocket as well so we can get everything over here. Yeah, it's probably in our production storage. Yeah, here we go. This is everything that uh, Wilson brought back for us. Okay, so we got to sort this stuff too. Okay, let's see what we got here as far as armor and such. At least put that on, I suppose. I want to see if I can modify this baseball bat. Excuse me, dog meat. I cannot. need a bit higher metalworking skill to do that. Okie dokie. 50. It's pretty high, actually. So we cannot do much with this. The size make it look different. That's fine. The item lock on for it, that way we're not going to accidentally wrap it. That's fine. Can't do much with this thing either until we... we could do a reflex sight. Um... You know, it doesn't require... Excuse me, any adhesive. Sorry, I'm yawning. Using it quite a bit. Might be worth it. I don't know. I can probably do without for now. Well, maybe, though. 
gonna be using it quite a bit. He has a lot of materials though. Reflex sights help me out so much. Let me see how this thing looks now. Much, much better, guys. I can actually properly see now and shoot properly. Yes, that is way better. Okay, I'm happy with that decision, at least. Make anything as far as uh, cooking stuff goes? Uh, we can do some meat scraps, I suppose, from the Mylar eggs. I can't make the Mylar eggs, can I? I can't turn them into anything yet. If I had some potatoes, I could make a Mirelurk egg omelette. Okay. With survival skill, though. Okay. Not for a while yet. Gotta do some more stuff first. Alright, fair enough. What time is it? Can we go to bed? Yeah, it's 10pm. We can go to bed. We shall go to bed, and then we shall go to Concord in the morning. A good... And I was asleep or so. That should put us at uh, 7 a.m. ish. Should be light enough out to go out and do stuff at that point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Well rested. We are hungry. Arched, but not super thirsty, I guess. All right. Let's, let's do some food and water then. Um, sure. Some sanitized water. Noodle cups. We're really, really hungry, apparently. Still parched? Still parched. This says uh, it, it does 40 hydration, but I'm only getting 20 per from those, from the purified water, which is uh, it's kind of rough, to be honest. Have to chug all that water is quite a, quite a bit. Okay, well, anyway, right away. Apply some radiation treatment to get rid of our rads here. It's going to use up pretty much all of our right away, I bet. Yeah, 20 out of 26, I think, is removed there. So, well, there goes our right away. And then we'll do some healing as well here. And there's our first aid. The first aid's a bit more reasonable, I guess. Okay, so we got 10 mil rounds for this. Should be pretty good on that. We've got our baseball bat as well. We should be good. We're going to find stuff down there anyway, too. Should be a good time. Put the ENB back on, I suppose. Since we're in nice daylight now. I think it looks way better with the ENB on in the daytime. I understand if you guys don't like it. Excuse me. Did you buy me a baseball bat? What'd you just get, dude? Yeah, regular old baseball bat. More damage than mine? Uh, it does. Because mine's deteriorated. I bet I can take the, the barbed thing off of this and make an even better baseball bat. Nice find, dog meat. Good job. Kind of want to run back up there right now and do that. It doesn't take much to take that barbed wire off of my current one, put on the new one, and have a much better weapon. Should be like 50 damage, I would say, or more probably, plus bleeding possibly. We're gonna wreck some raiders with that thing. We're gonna be a regular old, uh, what's his name from Walking Dead? A Negan. Negan is a very, very popular role-play, like, dress-up character to kind of play as in Fallout 4. I kind of like the idea of doing that, too, because 
you can still be the leader of the Minutemen and all this stuff and have like really bad ulterior motives, you know? You can be a bad person and still do all that stuff. Let's do, um... So if I do no upgrade here, I should be able to take that off and I can put that onto here, right? Yeah, I can put the barbed onto here. Now it's 47 damage. Very good. So 43 to 47. Pretty good weapon here. We can just do natural, sure. Alright, nice fine dog meat. Alright, so we're gonna bind this thing to one. Drop off the old one. There we go. Should I bring a 38 round weapon too? Maybe the custom SMG would be a good idea too. I don't have any 5.56 five, ammo really, so... Not too much point bringing that nice light machine gun at this point, unfortunately. This is probably fine. Yeah, should be good. Should be good as is. We'll just use the baseball bat for anything that we can. This thing should be good enough to kill a couple of raiders. 10 mil does surprisingly high damage, especially with headshots. It's like double damage, so you can kill them pretty easily with one headshot plus like a body shot with the uh, 10 mil rounds, even with a crappy weapon like this. It's pretty adequate, surprisingly. It's like really bright, uh, kind of cool sunrise sort of weather. It looks really nice. That might be new weather by Zawano, I'm not really sure. Alright, take out this blood bug real quick here. Bye bye. Harvest, thank you. Oh no, he's still he's still flapping. He's still twitching. He's making the sound, too, which is very disturbing. I guess I can turn my light off here, too. Conquered will be the first time you run into a place that has, um... This thing as well. This operation site. You can upgrade this and then have it extract stuff for you. It, it'll bring you materials, basically. If you do this at all the various operation sites, you can get... I mean, a lot of income pretty quickly. It's pretty cool. Get saving. I haven't saved for a while, just in case we crash. I haven't had any crashes so far. It's been running pretty good, but you never know. And let them shoot each other for a while. Maybe Preston will get lucky and kill one or two of them. It'd be nice, huh? Probably not, but you can always dream, right? can actually do the expert lock here already. That's kind of nice. It's tough, but we can do it. There we go. Nice. Seven, six, two rounds and some psycho. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, we're not going to run in there right away. We're gonna look around a bit out here first. Nope, there is a dead raider here. Rest in peace. Peace says. Because your head was partially gone there, you know? It's 80 salvaging, yeah. Gotta wait a bit for that yet. There's a house over here that should have... Well, it often has a pipe bolt action. If we can get that, we can do some sniping possibly and get some easy kills. Though I hate wasting 308 ammo on these early game super easy raiders. I don't know. Still might be worth it to not take any damage and to kill them safely. This is a permadeath run after all, and last time I played Horizon, 
I didn't have too many issues with keeping myself stocked on ammo. Like, I was so conservative previously on ammo, and I ended up with so much extra ammo, even on desolation mode, so... Might not be as big of an issue as I'm making it out to be, and I might be able to just... not worry about it so much. Uh, it is a pipe bolt action. It's set in 5.56, though. Which is really not that great. Whoa, dog meat. I know there's people out there, buddy, but geez. That sound kind of scared me, actually. Come on now, we're so close. Here we go. Yes. Nice, more 38 rounds. I know, buddy. I know. What's out the back here in the random spawn location? Settlers! You guys want to come help us fight these raiders over here? Excuse me. Oh boy. You may want to keep your Oh, this is the long neck Lakowski sting. Why? Are you threatening me? Nah, nothing like that. It's just, well, I think I ate a bad can of meat. <sighs> okay. Maybe it was three cans. Seemed pretty tasty at first, but now it's got my guts all in a twist. And, well, you can probably smell it from there. Long neck Lukowski's canned meat my ass. Long neck Lukowski's canned poison more like it. Here, have the rest of it. I'm never touching the stuff again as long as I live. Assuming I live through the day. Ugh. And if you happen to see that Lukowski, tell him I hope he dies in a goddamn fire. Oh, God. Sorry. Probably better if you get going. If it's anything like last time, it's about to get kind of messy. Got that explosive diarrhea, man. Poor guy. Would be equally awful in the wasteland. <laughs> it was so bad it killed this one. These two, actually. Rest in peace. Alright. So that thing definitely is not... Um... Yeah, no scope, unfortunately. Well, okay, it's fine. I'm sure we'll do fine with our reflex sight on this thing. Should not be a huge deal to take these guys out. Damn it, moved. That had to have been, like, right in his eyeball. Rip. Ooh, I scoped. There we go. Excuse me, dog meat. A machete. It's ruined, though. He did get some of them. The door. Nice job. Help us, Combat pistol. Combat rifle. Anything else good? Not really. Scrap it all. Nothing there. It's kind of like they died together. Aw. All ruined. 
It's not a real katana, it's just a decoration for the holster. Which is cool, but a real katana would be a lot better. Someone? Oh no, it's just the fire. Thought there were like ashes over here that I could hear crackling. Ruined machete. I can get a real machete. Metal helmet. Protective metallic. Might be kind of nice. Metal plate mask. I don't know if that's any good or not. Raider arm. Looks like that's, that's an upgrade. This guy's got some decent stuff. Yeah, it's got like a full set of metal stuff. Okay. Let me see here. What is an upgrade here? Uh, let's see here. This is a bit better, sure. That's a bit more on the DR. Yeah, that's a bit better overall. Uh, that one's a bit worse. This is about the same, but it probably looks cool. Metal plate, sure, why not, for some style points. The rest is, uh... That's actually a big upgrade right there. Yeah, sure. That is two. We didn't have anything on for those. That's that's going to be good. Okay, cool. Some nice stuff there. And as far as weapons go, there's not much there. Okay, we did good. We're, we're looking like a raider now ourselves. But hey. Gotta wear what works for the moment, right? So right about that... Excuse me, dog meat. About this stuff. All ruined, huh? A poncho, though. He's wearing a poncho. It's kind of interesting. Should check out the church as well. There should be stuff in here. Up on top that we can loot. And I should be able to get in that safe. I can't normally get in there this early, but since we can get lockpicking skills so early now, I can get in there pretty easy. Pretty early on, which is nice. Okay, 556 five, pipe bolt action. Nice. That's it. Nice resupply of some ammo here, and a crystal liquid decanter. This is some really good scrap, too. And a grognak. Nice. Crush your enemies. Can make more weapon upgrades for our melee weapons. Very cool. Did you guys know you can jump across onto the top of the Museum of Freedom from up here? If you're willing to risk jumping on that vertebird? You totally can. I've done it before in Frost. It's a bit risky. Um, it's a bit silly as well. I don't know really why you'd necessarily want to do it, but you could do that. I mean, in this, I don't know why you'd want to do it. In, in Frost, you can't get up there unless you do that, so it's the only way to get up there and get the goodies. And if you grab that minigun, it's like 500 rounds of uh, 5 mil, which is pretty awesome. But not a thing in Horizon, really. Not a reason to do that in regular Fallout 4, you know? You're better off just fighting up through normally. There's another dead Minuteman over here that has some more ammo. Squire backpack, okay. Could have kept that scarf for an accessory. Can I move you? I just want to make sure you don't have any more fusion cells in there. It looks like you don't. Okay, we should be good now. Okay, is that... Is that the place looted pretty much? I mean, besides the underground and such. Might be more. I guess we'll, we'll find out later on. How good is the uh, laser musket? Is it decent? Uh, it's okay damage. It's not great. I'll stick with this thing to we're out of ammo. Get a quick save here just to make sure we don't crash and lose progress. And let's do the Museum of Freedom. Time to rescue Preston and make him and his buddies our workers.
That's one way to do it. Can probably get through here as well. By just picking it, yep. Bitch, I ain't playing. You're just dead. I, I gotta admit, those were three pretty lucky shots, guys. I mean, I can't really, I can't really take uh, credit for any of that. You know, I'd like to. I'd like to say, oh, I'm, I'm such a badass shot. But no, I just got kind of lucky with those. Now we are over encumbered though now. Well, son, hold on. What, what's the button? There it is. Well, son. Tom Hanks needs you. Uh, let's see here. Move junk. What else shall we move over? The ruined machete. Yeah, all this stuff can go over probably. I won't use this, I don't think. Probably not any of these. Not going to really need it. And that should be good. Okie dokie. Let's not forget to get our stuff here. Pop this thing open. That's it. We've gotten uh, ten locksmithing skills now, just from. Unlocking stuff, pretty good. Well, nine, technically, but, you know, almost ten. That's not bad. We're just gonna toss the place real quick and get everything in here. Not gonna look to see what it is, we don't really care, we just want all the stuff because it's Horizon and that's what you do, you take all the stuff. Rest in peace. Coffee. Mug thing. Double barrel, that might be good. Hunting backpack, that might look cool. I'm concerned with style here, guys. We have to look we have to look cool, okay? Does the hunting backpack is it a visual upgrade? Okay, that's the question. Gas mask, we want to wear that for sure. Hunting backpack. Oh yeah, that's definitely a visual upgrade. That's a look. I mean, I don't know what it says. It says we look like we're just wearing whatever the hell we can get, I guess, but it's a look. I'm not going to say it's a good look, but it's a look. And that should be all that. job dog meat. Hey, a bunch of fusion cells. Very nice. Anything that's a visual upgrade here? I'm coming in there and I'm gonna skin every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk, but I'll be back and you'll be dead. What the? Damn, so close. Hey, Chinese officer sword. Custom rifle, that's a good rifle too. 
I might use that over the LMG, although I can't upgrade it right now, so I'll have to use LMG, but still, later on. Custom rifle's a bit better overall, just because it has better sights. Though I think the LMG still has pretty overpowered recoil compared to most other guns. It was nerfed pretty heavily, but uh, it's still quite a bit better, I think, than most things you'll come across. Nothing new here, you have to scrap it all. Already got you. Already got this stuff. No, I didn't get this stuff. Up and over here? No, we're good. All right, Preston. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Huh. Glad to help. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. God damn it. And who are these people? Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? Ghouls? What are ghouls? God wow. Damn it. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Maybe. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty nope. messed up and live for a long time. But they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. Huh. The radiations rotted their brains, uh, made them feral. Good. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right, guys. Well, I hate to leave you right here on the verge of this glorious battle, but nice. we are about an hour in the episode. So I'm going to leave it off here, and we'll pick up next time. Give these raiders an express ticket to hell and get ourselves a suit of power armor, which is what I've been wanting for a while here, so. Settler supplies, user settlements and operations sites. Interesting. That's new. Add by Horizon. Careful, kid. There's something coming. Bingo.
one perk point. Very nice. And it's it's angry. Marcy, can you just get out of the way? I will never pass this uh, charisma check with Mama Murphy. My charisma is way too low, so not going to worry about it too much. Anyway, that's going to be all for this one, guys. I'll see you next time.